Federal politicians have been called on to help battle a sea pest that's chewing its way along Tasmania's coast. The long-spined sea urchin is threatening the rock lobster and abalone industries and fishermen want help funding a plan of attack. It's an insidious invasion, helped by warmer waters and plenty of food. Spiny black urchins have stripped more than half the New South Wales coastline and Tasmania is suffering the same fate. These urchins are voracious grazers of kelp and if they occur in sufficiently large numbers they form what are known as urchin barrens where the rock is denuded of all kelp and, and invertebrate species so they, they literally become bare rock. The urchins ruin the habitat of abalone and rock lobsters but fishermen have a solution. We want to use them for bait. We've done some trials which that's very successful. Um, we want to use them for fish meal if we can. Uh, we want to use them for fertiliser. And there is a small but um, increasing demand for them for public consumption. The association's calling on Labor, the Coalition and Greens to pay for an urchin harvesting program. We haven't got an ammo claim about how much we want, but we want to sit down with everybody, the scientists, the government, um, the Department of Primary Interest and ourselves and work out something that's going to be cost effective. Mature rock lobsters prey on urchins but it'll take at least a decade for lobster stocks to make a mark. If you remove urchins from an urchin barren then it recovers and, and surprisingly quickly. So you know that's, that's why we are so optimistic about doing something to, to control these animals. If left unchecked the urchins are expected to spread around the coast within 20 years. Jessica Kidd, ABC News.